Hi, I'm Katie from Wool Mahusif. I'm just going to show you some basic arm knitting. And this is our um, pink chunky mammoth, uh, which is acrylic wool. And we start with a, a slip knot. Basic hand through the loop, grab the working yarn and pull. And you've got your knot and your tail. Pop that loop through your wrist. Make sure the tension's good enough for you. Not too tight, not too loose. And then with this hand, twist through, pull, twist through, pull, and then you can decide how many stitches you want going up your arm with how big you want the blanket. I'm just going to do four just so that I can demonstrate it to you. Then with your working yarn, you go back onto your other arm and always hold your working yarn in the hand that you're going to bring the stitches off. So down and then through as if you're going to rub your hands, lovely jubbly. <laughs> oh Again, God. over this way, lovely jubbly, this way, make sure the tension's okay. Over this way. I always remember it with prayer hands. So I'm praying to the arm knitting gods that it's going to be a great blanket. Good thinking, Laura. <laughs> and then back the other way. Hand stitching. Mm-hmm. Rare hands. Rare right hands. So and then you go straight onto the arm. So that makes the lovely V-shaped mm -hmm. stitch pattern, doesn't it? Prayer. <laughs> So if you it were does, to do it, it the do. other way, it would give a different a bit of effect. a twisted effect. Twist, right. I'm, I'm just doing this very loosely, just so that you can see the stitch. Mm -hmm. But you can obviously, the tension, however you want. Yeah. But this is a very loose, a loose one. I prefer it looser, yeah. because I don't want to be uncomfortable and knitting, and don't want to cut off my circulation, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not ideal. And then again, over, through, and then pull. Just pull this little bit, but don't pull too much because it'll go all funny. Mm. <laughs> you want to sort of keep your arms um, together. Together, together really. definitely yeah. together, because if you start pulling your arms apart, then you're going to totally lose the stitching and the, the pattern. can see it forming in a very really, really nice That's gorgeous. V. I'll just do a couple more so you can see. And it's definitely forming now. There you go, and this yarn is so pretty and it's so cosy, chunky. And it was pink, wasn't it? Pink. The shade of pink, yeah, because we do a mushroom pink and uh, this is normal pink. Normal pink and we do a bright pink. Bright pink. There's a huge range of colours on the website as well, isn't there? Oops. And don't worry, it just smooths out very easily if you get caught. Yeah, if you get if, if you miss a little bit of the because it's an unspun yarn, if a little bit sort of seems to fray, what would you do? You could just just smooth it over, just smooth, smooth it. it down, or if there's like a little bit like this, just pull it off, tease it, yeah, tease it, pull it down. There we go. Look, so beautiful. If that, if I go onto my other hand again, uh -huh. and then I'll show you how to cast off. Right. Yeah. So how many stitches can you get on an arm? Um, <laughs> Obviously you've just done far to show us I today. I am very good at getting my, loads of stitches up my arm, yeah. but I mean... I tried and I got 15, 15 on. Yeah, 15. Um, Andrea said she gets about 22 on. Um, yeah, I mean the technique, you just, the more you do it, the more fluent you get in it. Um, uh -huh. You know. And they squish down, don't they, the stitches? They do. So you can get more on than you think. 
like I said, yeah, this is a very loose one, so you can you can see the knit. So to cast off again over, you do two stitches like this, and then this one goes. You drop that. That one goes over the top. Yeah, like so. Yeah. Pick this one back up. Mm -hmm. Your working yarn over just as you're doing some knitting. Mm -hmm. Drop your working yarn again. Yeah. Pull this one over. Pick up your working yarn again. Because yeah, you'll want to keep picking it up. Yeah. Because your mus muscle memory will over kick in. Won't working it? yarn and the last one. Yeah. Like so. So then you have a loop. Now with this, I can just pull. Uh -huh. You can see that really pretty knot. Um, you then just basically pull it through. Feed it through. Feed it through. And then it teases into the blanket. This You can do this a little bit shorter. Uh -huh. But tend to just follow the stitch pattern and just tuck it in. Are oh, you just weaving it round? Just, you can weave it through. So it's probably best not having the massive long piece like this. Yeah. So, but you can just follow follow the stitch. Ah, so it hides. And it hides and it weaves into the blanket. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Katie. Beautiful.